596 Peach Drive in Milton. Here's the property. It's a beautiful afternoon, about 80 degrees. Very modern, fairly new subdivision. That's your front yard. This is your street. There is a sidewalk on the other side. Uh, plenty of room for parking to car garage. It looks like it's all brick. And we'll go on inside. One more picture of the front porch area. Front porch area. I'll spin around and give you the parking area right there. Alright, so this is your entryway. We have tile in the foyer. That's your front door. There's a little uh, Closet on the right, a coat closet. As you walk in, you have the main living space. They've been doing a little work on the property, so the ladder is there. That's your kitchen, very open floor plan. You have a bar area, two or three bar stools would be nice. Been doing a little cleaning here, so we have a flat top stove microwave get some lights on the subject sink area storage dishwasher side by side fridge once again open floor plan recessed lighting pendant lighting and uh, this island it's very nice, so you can see over the whole living space. Ceiling fans, vaulted ceiling, or I should say high ceiling. High ceilings. This room on the right is like a bonus room, could be used as a bedroom or an office. Has your dual doors there, and it does have a uh, good sized closet. And you'll want to check our website for the dimensions. Carpet. And it's a good size room. It would accommodate a queen or possibly even a king size bed. It does have one window. So you do have some natural light. And we'll get another picture from this bonus room. That's your main living space. Continuing on and to the right be your washer dryer area i believe is here nope i'm sorry that's not that is a pantry pantry lots of shelving there very good size the washer dryer area is here it's a little better with shelf all right then you have your two-car garage If you storm rated door, electric motor, pull down attic space, two windows, great for natural light, and you have an electric water heater. So once again, here's your little hallway going to the kitchen from the garage. And one more time, you get washer dryer, pantry, and then your kitchen. One more shot from this pantry area. All right, we're looking at the dining area right here next to the kitchen. Single window. Lots of natural light. You got the dual doors there with glass. Adjacent to it, we have the master bedroom, carpeting, tray ceiling, Ceiling fan, two windows, 
we'll get a couple couple different views for you. This is a very popular floor plan. Uh, a king size bed would fit in here. We got the dual vanities, the storage, the mirror, the lighting. Floor tiles. Garden style tub, opaque window, lots of natural light, <clears throat> a full walk in shower. Got your commode over here in the corner. And then you have a full walk in closet with shelving, good size. And I get you one more shot here. So your tub, the shower, and your sink basins. All right, moving on. One more shot of the master. All right. All right, we'll go over into the other bedroom area now. So, you have two bedrooms on this side of the house. We'll go in the back one first, get some light on. Okay, fairly good size, carpet, single window, double doors for closets. And I would say a queen would be the largest I would want to put in here. Check the dimensions on our site. All right, and then you have the hallway. To the other bedroom, this is your uh, air conditioning closet, your hallway bathroom, light and bright, little uh, utility linen closet, single vanity, storage, mirror, lights, opaque window, and a full tub and shower. All right, there we go. That's better. And then a, get this going here too. All right. So that looks out once again into the main living space. One more picture of that. And then the final bedroom, a little bit bigger in size. You might could put a queen in here would be good in my opinion. Double window. I would say queen size. And you have your double closet. Lots of light in this room. And you'll check our dimensions. All right, one more shot of the main living space. Give me plenty of different views. Walking across the house to the back. All right, we got lots of uh, concrete out here, big slab for barbecues and maybe some patio furniture. We have a fully fenced backyard, a little bit of shade. All right, that's your side yard. That's the back of the home. Like I said, there's some trees there. That's nice for that afternoon shade. And that's your back patio. And here's another shot from the rear. And a side yard there with the gate. Well, I hope you like it.